melting season starts soon, but it can snow in the mountains of Colorado well into the month of June, actually. So a couple months still to go. Looking at the local situation, we don't have any wintry stuff to worry about. In fact, our temperatures have warmed up nicely. It was a mild start this morning. Now we're into the 60s across most of central North Carolina, which is some fair weather clouds floating through. So an actual rain out to our west. East Tennessee is picking up some rain around Knoxville, and that's pressing towards western North Carolina. Most of that is going to fall either on the western side of the mountains or in the mountains. I think we're going to see some leftover cloud cover headed our way, but forecast models are indicating that's going to fall apart or dive down to our south rather than move into central North Carolina. Still, it's something we'll keep an eye on in case any showers head our way. Right now, it's nice outside. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the low 60s, 62 degrees right now in the triangle, 64 degrees in Sanford. The camera just cannot handle the nice weather. It hasn't been used to it recently. So there we go. Depot Park looking good. Just some fair weather clouds on the horizon. 66 degrees in Smithfield with that high cloud cover. A little breeze that's noticeable out of the northwest and eventually that is going to bring in some cooler air. That's not really going to happen or be noticeable until tonight. Right now, 62 in Raleigh, 61 in Durham, 63 in Chapel Hill. So we got the 60s pretty well covered. 65 in Garner and Clayton, 64 in Apex and in Cary. For the south, mid, even upper 60s. It's 68 degrees already in Dunn, 66 degrees in Fayetteville, and 65 on post at Fort Bragg. All in all, really nice for a March afternoon. Our temperatures will warm up a few more degrees. That puts us in the mid to upper 60s around the triangle, low 60s along the Virginia state line, and around or even above 70 degrees for Spadeville, the Sand Hills, and the southern coastal plain. Tonight, once the sun goes down, we start dropping off. Now, it's an hour later sunset time because of the daylight saving time, but temperatures by 9 o'clock down into the 50s for all of us, and we keep falling through the rest of the night, through the 40s and down into the upper 30s in the triangle by early tomorrow morning. Low low to mid 40s around Fayetteville. Those temperatures will kind of be slow to bounce back initially, but we will climb with the sun coming up a little bit later. It just takes a while and we should climb up to the low 60s around the triangle, low to mid 60s farther south. Towards the Virginia state line, you're probably stuck in the 50s, but a lot of sunshine all day tomorrow. Just occasional high clouds moving through. The next chance of rain doesn't move in until the end of the work week. It all stays out to our west on Thursday, approaches us on Friday, and finally then does move in. It's going to be warm enough with temperatures in the 70s that some of these showers may be accompanied by some rumbles of thunder. But at this point, our severe weather potential does not look like anything that we need to be overly worried about. It's something that we'll keep an eye on as we head through the rest of the week, just in case. But right now, it's the end of the work week, and we're just at Monday. we got a lot of time to keep an eye on that. And that one moves through. Unlike the past several systems, where it moves in on Friday and just lingers into Saturday and part of Sunday, other than a slight chance of a shower along the coastal plain on Saturday, it looks like we're in for dry weather over the weekend, which is very nice news to be able to deliver as we head towards kind of a busy weekend. we got Selection Sunday happening, ACC tournament. Folks are going to be getting out to watch a game with friends or just with a bunch of strangers at various <laughs> establishments. The weather's going to be fine for getting out and about. Temperatures will be in the low 60s for highs on Saturday, only mid 50s for highs on Sunday. We've got the half marathon and marathon happening on Sunday. A little chilly to start, but temperatures will warm up into the 40s. And you don't want it to be too warm <laughs> if you are making the decision to run. 26.2 miles. Seriously. I'm just giddy at Thursday and Friday, 72. 72. It comes along with some showers on Friday. But That's still. all right. The sun will come out. I'm happy enough with 60s today, tomorrow, Wednesday. Yes, sir. Fantastic. <laughs> Get Finally. Out.